Hi, I'm John from Chatomize, and in this video, I will show you how you can connect ManyChat to Dialogflow and use Google's AI in your ManyChat chatbot. I will explain how you can understand the intent of the user and reply with a ManyChat flow, how we can recognize entities and use the values of those entities in your ManyChat flows, how we can handle multiple languages with Google's AI and reply with ManyChat flows, and I will show you how we can set this integration up for all channels on ManyChat. This means not only Facebook Messenger, but also Instagram, WhatsApp, Telegram, and in the future, maybe more. Let's dive in. Last year, I also created a video on how you can connect ManyChat to Dialogflow. But thanks to Diane Gan from Gan Media, it now is much easier to connect ManyChat to Dialogflow. Before, we needed to copy the code and edit some code, which is a bit hard if you're not familiar with code. But now, we only need to copy the code and create our own ManyChat application, which is much easier. But before we start, you need to make sure that you have four accounts. We need to have a Google account because we're using Dialogflow. You need to have a ManyChat account because we're using ManyChat. You need to have a GitHub account because we need to have a place where we can copy and store the code. And you need to have a DigitalOcean account. And if you don't have a DigitalOcean account, I will give you $100 in free credit for the next two months. Let's start by creating the integration. So the first thing that we need to do is copy the code that Diane Gan created on GitHub and copy it to your own GitHub account. So you can just go to github.com and I am automatically logged in, but if you don't have a GitHub account yet, you can just sign up for a new GitHub account. It is free and you can just create your own account. And once you have done that, you can just click on new and now we are going to create a new repository. And repository is just another name for folder. So you can just compare it with a folder that you have on your own computer. So I'm going to call this ManyChat Dialogflow video. You can leave the description with nothing and you need to set it to private because if you set it to public, everyone can access it. And I don't think that's something that you want. And then you scroll down and then you just click on create repository and then github will create the repository for you and then if you scroll down again you can click on import code and here you need to paste this url and i will also add this url to the description but this is the place where diane gan stored his code that we can use for free so you need to paste it there and then click on begin import. And now GitHub will copy the code from Diane Gans GitHub to our own GitHub repository. And now it is created. And when you click on it, you can see that all the code that we need to use for this integration is copied to your own GitHub repository. But this code doesn't do anything yet. It is just saved to your GitHub account and you can compare it with just a save on, for example, a Google Drive. So to actually use this code for our integration, we need to put it live. And we are going to do that by using DigitalOcean. So when you go to chatomize.com slash DigitalOcean, what you will get is when you go to this link, you will get 300 dollar credit for 60 days. So when you go to this link and you create an account, you will get a free $100 credit. And DigitalOcean is a platform where you can host code directly from GitHub. And by using DigitalOcean, we can put the code live that we just copied to our GitHub account and we can use that with our ManyChat Dialogflow integration. So you can just sign up for a new account but I already have an account, so I will just click on login. And once you're logged in, you can click on create and you can select apps. And I already 
connected my DigitalOcean account to GitHub. So I will just have GitHub already here. But if you don't have that yet, there will be a button with connect your GitHub account. And once you have done that, you will have the same overview as I have here. And once you've done that, you can select a repository. So I created this repository. So I will just copy this and then I will paste it over here. And then we select the right repository. And we can leave this as is. And you need to make sure that you have the auto deploy on a check. And this means that if we make a change on GitHub, we're not going to do that, but maybe in the future, if you make a change on GitHub, it will automatically be updated to DigitalOcean. So you can just click on next. And then you need to edit this. So you need to click on this pencil and you need to change the name. And I don't know why, but DigitalOcean is sometimes giving an error on this. So I will just call this ManyChat Dialogflow Video 1. Click on save, then go back, go to next, go to next again. And then I will give it the same name. So I will also call this ManyChat Dialogflow Video 1. Click on save, click on next. And then here, it automatically shows you that it will cost you $24 per month. But it's not right because it's way cheaper. So when you click on edit plan, you can need to select basic and then you select $5. So it will only cost you $5 a month, but with my $100 credit, it will cost you nothing in the first two months. So then you click on create resources. And now DigitalOcean will install the app for you. And this can take up to several minutes. Often it's like two to five minutes until this app is created. And then we can move on with the rest of the tutorial. And now DigitalOcean created my app. And the next step is to create our own ManyChat application that works with this DigitalOcean app. So if you go to ManyChat, then you need to go to My Profile, go to Applications, and click on Create New Application. And we are going to call this the ManyChat Dialogflow Integration. And then here we have some JSON code. So we need to add some JSON code here. And you can do that by going back to your GitHub account. And then here we have the ManyChat JSON app.json file. So you can just click on it. And then you can select all this code. And then copy it. And then paste it over here. And then if you go to the second tab and by the way, you also need to add a description. So I just put something in because otherwise uh, you cannot create the application. And you can just click on API access. And then we need the view contact data, the manage contact data, and the send messages. And then we just click on create the application. So once we've done that, it will appear under your applications and you can just click on install. And now you can install this application on one of your ManyChat accounts. So you can just click on install and select the right ManyChat account, which is in my case, Chatamize. So now the app is successfully installed and we need to set up our app settings. So what we need to put up here is the server URL. And this is the URL that we got from DigitalOcean. So if you go back to DigitalOcean, you can just copy this link address and then paste it over here. We also need to enter our ManyChat API key. So if we go to settings and then you need to scroll down, and then you have API under extensions and then we have the get API key here. So we can just copy that and then paste it over here. Then we also need a Dialogflow project ID. So if you go to your agent in Dialogflow, and I've created a really simple agent, there's nothing in there yet, it's just a blank project. And then if you go to the settings, then here you have your project ID. So we can just copy this and then paste it over here. And we also need an agent ID. 
So if you go to dialog flow, here you have the integrations. Then if you scroll down, you have the web demo. And by default, this is disabled. So you just need to click on enable here. And then you need to copy this part, which is your agent ID. And then paste it over there. And then you can click on save. And now your ManyChat and Dialogflow integration is working. And we can use it inside our ManyChat flows. So the first thing that we need to do is change our default reply. And the default reply is the message that shows up if your chatbot doesn't know the answer to a question. So we want to use our Dialogflow connection to understand the question of the user and respond with a ManyChat flow. So if we go to settings, we can go to Messenger and then select the default reply. And then you need to click on Edit Flow. And then we're going to change the flow. So here we want to use our own ManyChat application that we just created. But before I'm going to do that, I first need to add a condition because I'm on my live ManyChat account. And if I just change my default reply, all of the people that are talking to my chatbot will get those messages and I don't want that. So I will just add a really simple condition um, so that it only says this to me, but you don't have to do this yourself. So this is only for me. So I just create a simple condition with the last name is my last name. And otherwise, if that's not the case, it will just get the regular default reply. And what you need to do, and this what you need to add is an action. So you add an action, then you scroll down, and then here we have the ManyChat Dialogflow integration. And then we can click on the Dialogflow bridge. And you only have to select the language of your agent, which is in my case English. And then we can click on Save and click Publish. And what this will do is that every time your default reply is triggered, it will send a request to Dialogflow. And then inside Dialogflow, we can create an intent. And with that intent, we can create a response in ManyChat. So every time Dialogflow understands the intent of the user, it will respond with a ManyChat flow. So first, let's create that flow inside ManyChat. So let's say we're a pizza company and we just want to understand when someone says, I want to order a pizza. So we can just go to automation, click on new flow, and I will just call this order pizza response. Click on create. And we are going to respond very simple by just saying, yes, you can order pizzas here. Click on publish. And what we need to have inside Dialogflow is this part of the URL. So there's a part of the URL that shows content and then a lot of numbers. So we just need to copy this and use that inside Dialogflow. So if you go to Dialogflow, we can create a really simple intent, which is called order pizza. And then we add a training phrase, which is, I want to order a pizza. Can I have a pizza? I want pizza three simple training phrases, and then we want to respond with our ManyChat flow. So we can just click on add response, remove the default text response, add a response again, click on custom payload, and then we need to type in flow, and then the thing that we just copied. And it is really important that you use double parentheses. If you use single parentheses, this will not work. So you need to use doubles, and then click on save. And now your ManyChat Dialogflow integration should be working. So if we go to Messenger, we can test it out. So now I'm inside Messenger and I can just type in, I want to order a pizza. And then it should reply with the ManyChat flow. And it says, yes, you can order pizzas here. So this means that our ManyChat Dialogflow connection is working. But this is just for handling an intent in Dialogflow. But we can also use this integration to handle entities. So what we're going to do is we go to Dialogflow, 
go to entities and we're going to create a new entity which is called topping and for example then we can put in cheese and we can put in veggie and click on save so when someone is saying I want a cheese pizza we want that cheese value inside ManyJet so when we go to intense click on order pizza we need to add another training phrase so we can say I want to order a cheese pizza and then we select the cheese and select topping so it knows it is the topping entity and then we click on save and then inside ManyJet we need to create a field with the same name of our entity so our entity is called topping so we need to create a field with the name topping so if you go to ManyJet and I'm here already in my settings then you go to fields and create a new user field which is called topping and click on create and now the field is created and if we go back to the order pizza response flow then we can use that field to give a personalized response so what we're going to do is we're going to create a condition and the condition is if the topping has any value now we just copy this message then we're going to say yes you can order and then we're going to insert the topping yes you can order cheese pizzas here or yes you can order veggie pizzas here and when someone says I just want to order a pizza then we're going to say yes you can order pizzas here so we're going to connect this click on publish and then if we go to messenger and I say I want to order a pizza it should have the same response like we had before and that's working now if I say I want to order a cheese pizza it says yes you can order cheese pizzas here so this means that we can also use entities and the value of entities inside our ManyChat flows so this is also working but what if we want to handle multiple languages that's also possible what we just need to do is edit our default reply and add another language to Dialogflow so what we're going first going to do is go back to my default reply so we're going to settings messenger default reply edit the flow and we're going to set the language to Dutch because Dutch is my native language and click on save and then click on publish and then inside Dialogflow we can add another language to our Dialogflow agent so you can just click on this plus here and then you can just search for your language which is Dutch in my case and click on save so then if you go back to intense you just need to click on the NL which stands for the Dutch language and this also has the order pizza intent so then we can add Dutch training phrases to this intent so I will add it in Dutch And for some reason it gets the location but it isn't a location so I just remove this and then we're going to add a response and because we want to respond with a Dutch flow we need to create a new flow inside ManyChat so when we go to automation we go to new flow and click on order pizza Dutch And we're just going to respond with yes you can order a pizza here and then Dutch click on publish and again we need to copy this go back to dialog flow at the response remove this text response at the custom payload which will be flow and then we just copied and click on save so now if we say I want to order a pizza in Dutch it will reply with the Dutch version of the order pizza response so when I go to messenger I just say 
I want to order a pizza in Dutch. And then it says, yes, you can order a pizza here. So that is also working. So what you can do, for example, in ManyChat is just ask the language of the user. And when they say, okay, my, my language is English, then use your English dialogue flow project. If the language is Dutch, you can use the Dutch dialogue flow project. And so by doing this, you can make your ManyChat chatbot completely multilingual and you can still use Google's AI in your ManyChat chatbot. And the last thing I want to show you is how you can extend this to all channels that ManyChat support. Because before, ManyChat only supported Facebook Messenger. But now ManyChat also supports Instagram, WhatsApp, and even Telegram is coming. And we can use this integration with Dialogflow on all of those channels. And I'm going to show you how you can do it on Instagram, but you can do the same thing for WhatsApp and for Telegram. So what we need to do is we need to add our Dialogflow integration to the default reply in Instagram. And we need to create a condition in the response flow on the channel. So if we go to our settings, I will just remove this. We go to settings, then we go to Instagram, and then you go to your default reply. And I have one default reply for all the channels in my chatbot. So for Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, and Telegram, I'm using the same default reply. So if you haven't set that up in the same way, just make sure that you add the ManyChat Dialogflow connector action to your default reply in Instagram. So I just can click on this and then we go to the same flow that we used before. And as you can see, it will just trigger the Dialogflow bridge, but I need to add another condition here because now we're going to use Instagram. So the Instagram username is my username and any of the following condition. Again, you don't have to add this. This is just that it only works for me. Then we can click. Oh, and then we also want to go back to English, click on save and click on publish. And then if we go back to automation, then we have the order pizza response here. And what we need to do here is pretty simple. We need to go back a little bit and we need to make a condition. And the condition will be whether someone is using Instagram or Facebook. So I would just type in Instagram and then we say the opted in for Instagram. If that is true, then we will send a Instagram message and if that's not true, then we will send a message in Facebook Messenger. So we can add this by using Instagram. Then we say, yes, you can order pizzas here. And if someone's not opted in for Instagram, then we're going to use Messenger. Order pizzas here. And again, if you want to extend this to other channels, so you want to extend this to Telegram and WhatsApp, you can just add those conditions. So you can just say, create another condition and check whether someone is opted in for Telegram or whether someone is opted in for WhatsApp. And you can create a truly omni-channel chatbot. And the best part about this is when you use the condition inside ManyChat, you don't need to change anything inside Dialogflow. So this is the only thing that you need to change. You need to add it to your default reply and create a condition in your response flow. And now we can just test it out on Instagram. Inside Instagram, and I just can click on message. And then I say, I want to order a pizza. And then it says, yes, you can order pizzas here. And that's it. That's how you can connect ManyChat to Dialogflow and use Google's AI in your ManyChat chatbot on every channel that you want. If you have any questions on how you can use ManyChat and Dialogflow together, please leave a comment below and I will reply as soon as possible. If you want more videos on how you can use chatbots in your marketing, please subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't done this yet, also click the like button below.